What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and we are back in our apartment. Uh, as fun as it was to be with family and friends over the holidays, you know, there's nothing like just being in your own personal space and just where you feel comfortable. So I'm glad to be back. And uh, for this video, we're going to be doing some more Hidden Fates, of course. Uh, tomorrow, some of the Sword and Shield stuff is going to start dropping. But until then, we're still going strong with Hidden Fates. We're going to be opening three tins. That's so going to be 12 packs all together. See if we can't work on that master set. And then at the end of the video, we're actually going to go through our progress for our master set. You can see kind of like how many cards we need left. Uh, going through comments in a bunch of our previous videos, seems like a lot of people are very close to finishing those out. Um, and shout out to like Thrill, like you said, Oh, I'm working on like my second, third, and fourth one, and that includes like all the reverses and everything. That is insane. Uh, so we got some catching up to do. Three tins, 12 packs. Let's do this. All right, so these are the tins we're going to be opening. One Charizard, two Gyarados. We'll put these off to the side. We'll start with this one. Now, I'm hoping that these are all from the Black Friday sales. I feel very strongly that even though there's some weird stuff going on with the centering, Definitely the polls in my own experience have been much better with the Black Friday tins. I feel like whenever I open ones that are from the original printing, I really struggle to get shiny GXs are better. You get them, you know, the hit wise is not terrible, but I feel like to get GXs, shiny GXs is, is a real struggle. So here's our promo. And I believe one way you can kind of tell is all right when each pack you have each pack art that might mean that this is from the original printing I feel like the new ones didn't necessarily do it so that's just like a clue I think you can definitively say if you have the new ones if you don't have all the pack arts this is just my own observations not really backed by much research out of my other than my own experience so if you know kind of how else to tell actually from the non shiny Non GX shinies, the the way those cut is definitely different. So we'll see what uh, happens. Assuming we pull one of those cards. All right, for our first pack, we have a Paris Caterpie. Ooh, Raichu. All right, we got a hit right off the bat. And a Malamar. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, yeah. So uh, it's very hard to describe, but when you kind of like feel the edges, it's just flipped up very slightly. Uh, let's see. Where's all that light? Ooh, this is the, ooh, actually this is the texture bleed one. Let me see. Uh, you can kind of see how it's a lot of, not little dots, but all that texturing is all over the place. And that is definitely the one I prefer over kind of like the extra gloss. So very good start, Raichu and a shiny Malamar. I am convinced this is from the Black Friday sale. So everything is starting off swimmingly although that's just one of the three tens it's hard to tell well we'll find out about the other ones as we go we have a wheezing for pack number two and then just a geo dude so you can't win them all all right but master set i believe non-gx shinies is buzzwall and azorua gx shinies is a good number of them but we have been slowly Slowly checking off them on the GX front. Just move my piles over a little bit. Sabrina, Metapod, Coughing, Ekans, Cubone, Magikarp, Geodude. Our book is our rare, and then a Metapod Reverse. All right, as always, if you guys do enjoy the video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. It does help the, helps our videos reach new viewers is my understanding. So I greatly appreciate that. Sub if you're not already to the I Want a Turtle channel. Drop videos basically every single day. Every once in a while we miss one day, but that's pretty rare. And uh, we'll be streaming later this evening usually start around 7 p.m. EST so if you're interested in watching some PTCGO swing by link down below for the twitch and obviously if you are sub you kind of get notified when we go live on YouTube alright we're getting into tin number two that first tin started off amazingly but then pewtered out very hard 
So I would say that was a below average box at the end of the day, despite our strong start. I am feeling a little bit below the weather. I'm not sure you can tell by my voice. But we will definitely still stream. Uh, we might not stream as late as normal. But we'll play that one by ear. Alright, maybe the pack art still is where you get one of each. Code card. And another Gyarados promo. <clears throat> So over the break, or not break, but over the holidays, we were trying out a different uh, recording angle where we kind of use this arm to put our phone in the air facing straight down. I kind of liked it, but you know, I'm, I'm still undecided how we're gonna go in the future. Definitely for things like deck profiles, that's the way to go. I feel like we're pulling a lot of wheezings as of late. And then a Misty's Water Command. But we'll still play it by ear. We'll try to test it out a little bit, see which works out best. If you have an opinion, let me know in a comment. All right, let's go. So far, not doing so hot. Farfetch, Clefairy, Eevee, Ekans, Paris, Caterpie, Arbuck, a lot of Weezings and Arbucks. Oh, nice! We finally picked up the Buzzwall, baby Buzzwall. Uh, centering is pretty good, not perfect. So I do think that the polls, poll rates, and the polls are really good on these new tins. Or like the most recent print, I guess. But definitely the centering is super weird, where the back and the front are not consistent centering. And I feel like as far as PSA goes, that would be, make it very difficult to get tens going forward. Maybe that will help the shiny Charizard price eventually on the PSA front. And we do have that full texture card again which I love. It's some things like that that P I'm very confident that PSA won't decipher between those, but kind of like once you get graded, like that's irrelevant. And if anything, grading only gets harder, despite the fact that they have these cool texture or super glossy cards, but the centering is worse. So kind of a mixed bag. But hey, if pull rates are better, I'm all for it. Geodude! Butterfree, and then a coughing. So we did get to check off a new card off our master sets. One step closer. Definitely the non-GX non shinies. I want to be able to pull them all. After that, so it'll be much more difficult to get all the shiny GXs, and then for the supporters and stadiums, gold cards, we'll probably have to go the singles route. So Lapras for this pack. Ooh, shiny Magneton. More uh, textured cards as well. Love it. Shiny Magneton, I do like the shiny. It's very subtle. It's just like a yellow shade. So it's cool. I do like the when the uh, Pokemon are, the shinies are golden. Kind of reminds me of the shiny Magikarp. The OG one. That was really cool. Like how the Gyarados didn't, they, they kind of mixed it up as it evolved and they went with the red Gyarados, which is really cool in my opinion. All right, we got the Charizard one. There's a chance that this is from the first print wave. We'll find out. Although from the Black Friday, I did pick up some Charizard, but it was only what I managed to pick up in store where I did pick up a lot more online, but they only had Gyarados and Raichu. All right, we do have all the pack art still. So maybe I was wrong about the pack art part. Hopefully we get at least a non-shiny GX so we can confirm what kind of tin this is. But uh, actually, I will say that these first two tins, while I am so happy we got that buzz wall, you know the what I was saying about the pull rates being better, definitely I'm not really backing that up. <laughs> but I'm still happy that we got that buzz wall. Because yeah, no shiny GXs, no full arts or anything. But uh, I'm still content. We got the birds with a full art birds. And then Koga's Trap. I uh, can't really tell about that one. It did feel like the edges are kind of um, cut in that same fashion as those non jack shinies. Uh, 
All right, let's see. We got Misty, Jinx, Pokemon Center Lady, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck, Charmander, Magikarp, we another Weezing. So we, we didn't get any Vaporeon so far, but we are getting tons of Weezing in our bucks. Ooh, Pseudo Wudo. Um, and this is the super glossy one. So yep, these are still Black Friday tins. This one is pretty well centered. I think it might be a little off top to bottom, maybe. The back is uh, the back is okay as well. But here we yeah, this is the super gloss. Actually, this is like ridiculously glossy. Very different from those texture texture bleed. I'm not sure if it's actually texture bleed because it doesn't have like those lines. It's just textured, so it's not really bleed from the picture. All right, we got two more packs. Only we only have the birds. Everything else is non GX. So our big prize so far is that buzzwall. Oh, I forgot to show. Here is that Charizard promo. Amazing card. And here is that code card. It was right in front of me. All right, last pack. So, no shiny GXs. Did not back up my claim about these packs having a lot more shiny GXs, but. You know, still mission accomplished. Last pack. Here we go. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate that. Swing by our stream today, tonight. If you have some free time, we have an Onyx. And for our last pack, we have Cleat Fairy Reverse. Um, so, once again, super stoked that we managed to check another box off our Master Set checklist. But, uh, yeah, I would say those were below average tins, to be honest. But either way, thank you so much for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, as promised, let's take a look at how our progress is going for that master set. Starting with the regular GXs, no problem. Promos, no problem. Rocket supporters, no problem. Rainbow birds, no problem. Alright, we got them stuff from the premium collection. Oh, we need to replace a. What is that? Oh no, that's good. Okay, on to the shinies. So at this point, I believe there's only one that we need. And that is Zorua, right there. And the rest of the non-GX non Shinies, we are all good. Moving along to the Shiny GXs, let's see. So this one, I believe, is Charizard and then Turtonator. Um, obviously, we pulled actually two Charizards, so very fortunate there. And we have yet to even see a Turtonator. Let's see, Greninja, um, Mewtwo. Uh, we did pull one of these, but we did trade it away, so we need to replace that. Alright, let's see. After Nihilego, using the ETB thing to remind myself, we need Naganadal, and then Lucario. I believe we did pull Lucario, and I believe we just traded that away. So, two more there. And then after Buzzwall is Umbreon, which we actually pulled two of. One being here because it is pretty well centered. Maybe something to send to PSA at some point. All right, let's see. After Altaria, we have Noivern, which we have yet to pull. Okay, after Cynthia, Fisherman. I feel like I pulled so many Fishermen, but they're all in different languages. All right, then on to the stadiums. Let's see, after Aether Paradise. Um, Brooklet Hill, which we've never seen, and Shrine of Punishment, which we have pulled, but I did trade away. And then lastly, some gold cards, the Feeny and the Elusive Lele. So that's it. That's our progress. Still a handful. Let's see. One, two, three, four. And those four will be really difficult to pull. Five, six. Umbreon we have. Seven, eight. Nine. 10 for Turtonator, and then Zorua. So was that? 11 cards that we need to complete that master set. But uh, yeah, we'll keep trying, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.